hello guys welcome to s academicus regarding your excel sheet so we civil engineers are basically we we, we uh, excel is our best friend so sometimes we get some protected excel sheets so for which we cannot edit so i'm just i'm just showing i'm just showing you how to edit how to unprotect that protected excel sheet like the, like if you want to just increase or decrease this slab thickness if you click here then this is cell or chart you are trying to change is on a protected sheet and you don't know the password so either you you should be knowing the password or you need to just break this protection so in order to in order to unprotect this we you very there is a very simple pro procedure uh, you have to just uh, in the vba in the macros you have to just run a program and you'll be just you will be you'll be you'll be getting a access to this excel sheet so i'll just show you how to how to unprotect so for that you just need to whichever uh, excel sheet you just want to unprotect you just need to press alt f11 so alt f11 alt f11 so once you uh, press alt f11 this this sheet this big uh, this uh, macros uh, programming sheet will open so if you want to if there are so many like if in this excel sheet there, there is three sheets so whichever sheet you want to just unprotect you just click on that sheet like sheet 1 i just want to unprotect sheet 1 so i have a program that program you can you can easily get it is easily available on internet so i have a program i'll just copy that that program and paste there and run that program like this is the program we'll just copy it once you copy it you have to just paste that program in the macros so just paste this once you paste this program you just click on run run sub use form so after after this run command you will get a, a pop-up it will show password is this so that means your this this excel sheet has accepted your password and just you need to just save this and just now you try clicking on this you can easily edit like you can easily edit these things so this way you can easily unprotect any excel sheet this is this is not regarding civil engineers but this is very useful to for civil engineers like most of us are most of us are working on excel sheets so some some sometimes we get a few excel sheet which we we cannot edit so in order to use those excel sheets in some excel sheets these formulas are also hidden so in order to access those formula we just need to this we just need to have this basic basic trick to make our work very easy so if if you want to this this is this program you can just write this program this program is available in internet also so you can just write this program and you just you need to paste in the macros so hope this lecture was very useful to uh, to, to you uh, i cannot uh, clarify any doubt regarding this uh, this lecture because this is a programming thing and i'm a civil engineer structural engineer so i'm not good at programming this program i have copied for some from somewhere and i'm using this program since long time it is very useful so but but whenever you unprotect a excel sheet please don't take the credit of the original author of that uh, excel sheet because that is un, that is that is at least you should give credit so please don't change these things because this this what i'm teaching you this is just for your understanding just for your reference like in sub excel sheets you don't get these formulas visible they just hide everything so in order to get the clarity regarding the formula and also the validity of that excel sheet whether that excel sheet is valid or not because if the formula is hidden so you don't you never know the sheet is valid or not so I, my 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 motive behind this lecture is to make you aware to while validating any excel sheet when you have when you have downloaded any excel sheet from internet so in order to just check whether that excel sheet is proper or not and if it is protected then you just need to unprotect and check the formulas whether the excel sheet which you are using is proper or not so hope this lecture is will be very useful to you thank you have a nice day take care goodbye